Today we're going to talk about Workbook 4A, Exercise 4. In the textbook, this is on page 11, there's just a few problems to practice through and do together. Uh, we're thinking about add, subtract, multiply, divide by thousands. And we want to think about this as six thousands and eight thousands, since six and eight, and I'll just write everything down that my mind flashes through at a really quick rate, six needs four to make ten, eight is four and four, six and eight is a ten and a four, so six thousand and eight thousand would be fourteen thousand, because eight plus six is fourteen. Now, we don't have to do that every time, you can just think through letter B, 27,000 plus 4,000, 27 needs 3 to make 30, and I have one more, so that's going to give me 31,000. You can think about the numbers 27 and 4, and just know that the answer is in the units, in a sense, of 1,000. 15,000 minus 6,000. 15 take away 6, that's 9, and the answer is going to be 9,000. And then, of course, in a similar way, 31,000 minus 5,000 is going to be 26,000. Now, if you want to think about ways to think about 31 minus 5, of course, 31 is the same thing as 21 and 10. 10 minus 5 is 5, and so 21 and 5 is 26. That's just the way we've been. If you've been doing Singapore Math and Singapore Math Live, you'll know those things. If you haven't, then that might be a new way of thinking about subtraction. Then we have multiplication, a couple of samples of those. If you have 7,000 four times, 4 times 7 is 28, so you have 28,000. It's almost like 1,000 is a unit. 10,000 times 5 is 20,000, no, that would not be true, 50,000. Um, 5 of those, 5 of those 10,000s makes 50,000. Then if you take 12,000 and divide it into 3 groups, you have 4,000, and if you take 30,000 and divide it into six groups, there's 5,000. So this will be a very basic, very simple exercise, practicing working in a sense with the units of 1,000 and thinking about it in this way. So now that's all you need to do to be ready to work on exercise four.